Hey everyone. Okay, so let's take a look at number 21. Mr. Nolan paid $36.95 for each adult shirt. And let's look at that and $23.95 for each youth shirt he bought. Mr. Nolan bought two adult shirts and five, ooh, five youth shirts. How much money did he spend on these shirts? All right, so let's go back into our story and look at what we had. So $36.95 for each adult shirt and $23.95 for each youth shirt. He bought two adults and he bought shirts, two adult shirts and five youth shirts. So here I'm thinking, okay, how much money did he spend in all? Author's purpose. The purpose of this short story is to, to find out how much money did Mr. Nolan spend on shirts. So I'm looking for a total. Or the total cost. Remember that we said that we need to find a total cost. We're going to do one of the operations. Multiply or repeated addition. Right? Okay, so Where's my context clues or my facts? What am I going to use to find what the author wanted us to find? So the facts or the context clues is that there's 30, he spent $36.95. So this is the adult, A-D-U-L-T, $36.95, and he bought two of them. And then I'm going to put bought two. So what's my equation here? Yeah, $36.95 times two. And then for the youth, he bought $23. He spent $23.95. I'm going to put each up here on each shirt. And how many did he buy? Yes. He bought five. So what's my equation there? And I'm going to put the and $23.95 times five. I know that whatever this is, I'm going to have to combine that because my and tells me so because I'm looking for the total amount. All right, so let's go ahead and work this out. If you want it to do repeated addition, you may do so because if we're looking for the total, you can do repeat addition or multiplication. So let's do it both ways. All right, so here I have $36.95 times two. I have my decimal. I'm going to move this out one, two, and I'm going to put two up here going into my product, and I'm going to put two place values back. I'm going to move it back in. 2 times 5 is 10. Regroup my 1. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Regroup my 1. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Regroup my 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. I moved my decimal out twice. I'm going to move it back in. 1 two. I need to see that written on your star test. Remember where you're showing that arrow when it's being moved. So this is the adult. I'm going to label my total for adult. For the youth, $23.95 times five of them. And yes, I can hear like somebody saying, couldn't I just kind of estimate it? You can and find out what's closest. Just be careful. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 2, 
47, 47. Regroup, five times three is 15, plus four is 19. Regroup my one. Five times two is 10, plus one is 11. I moved this out twice. I'm gonna bring it back in and it's one, two. So this is youth. Now I need it to add those together. I'm gonna to put my largest number on top, $119.75 plus $73.90. Five plus zero equals five, seven plus nine is um, 16, right? Regroup my one. I'm going to bring down my decimal. Nine plus one is 10, plus three is 13. Regroup my one. Seven, eight, nine, and my one. And I should have been following along. You could have been following along here. So when I got my 65, so I had my first five, all of them in and five. Then I had six C5 sets, so it's, I could get rid of the first one. Then I had a three, and it's like, ooh, that could be a possibility. Then it was a nine and a one, so D is the correct answer. You see how you're going to use your computations along with your answer choices. All right, then, let's go ahead and show this with repeated addition so that you can see it both ways. I'm going to have two $36.95. Five plus five is 10. Nine plus nine is 18 plus one is 19. Bring down my decimal. Six plus six is 12 plus one is 13. Three plus three is six plus one is seven. So did they match? Yes, they do. $23.95, I'm gonna double this up. Five plus five is 10, nine plus nine is 18, plus one is 19. Bring down my decimal, three plus three is six, two plus two is four. So that's for two, I need five, so I'm gonna repeat that same thing. I'm gonna make sure that my answer was right the first time by adding that up. And so it checks out. So this is one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one. So I'm gonna add the $46. So this is gonna be, be $23.95 that I need to add to that group. So I have $46.90 plus $46.90. Zero, nine plus nine is 18. Bring down my decimal. Six plus six is 12 plus one is 13. Four plus four is eight, plus one is nine, plus this one over here. So I'm gonna add in my last $23.95. Nine um, plus eight is 17. If you know, you can actually just take one away. Eight plus eight is 16, plus one more is 19, a uh, 17 too. So this makes it 17. Bring down my decimal. Three plus three is six, plus one is seven. And so am I getting to where I, what did I do wrong? 13, $23.95. What did I do wrong here? 15, 18, I messed up someplace. Can anybody tell me where I messed up? Okay, I found where my mistake was. Three plus three is six plus the one regrouping that I forgot to do that. So this makes it now seven. So it's 47. And this will make it, and I did the same thing over here. I did it twice. So you guys make sure that you catch it. There was a couple of kids that did that. They couldn't get the answer this morning. They couldn't figure out what they were doing wrong. And then um, had them look at their map and they had forgotten to regroup. So be super careful. I'm just going to cross this out. Guys, don't erase any of your work anymore. Just simply put an X on it so that you can see your mistakes rather than erasing it like it didn't exist because mistakes are good. They help us go back and track where we're at. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. 
and I have 8 plus 1 is 9. Now I'm going to add in my 2395. So I have 5, 17. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 9, 10, 11. So then I have this that checks out, so we're good. Now I can combine those $119.75 plus my $73.90. Add those together. That is five. And again, you're looking at your answer choices once you make your final round of addition. I know that 9 plus 7 is 16, regroup. So I only have three answer choices left. 9, 10, that's 13. Oops, I only have one right here. 7, 8, 9, and 1. So that's how D is my answer. All right, that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know or write them down and we can discuss it tomorrow.